Hey, hey out there in YouTube land. This is Jay's from Jay's Mini Scale Garage. Uh, sorry I ain't posting no videos in a while. I've been kind of busy on these cars. Um, I wanted to go down to the car show in Kentucky and didn't get a chance to. But I know we got some more, you know, coming up this way. As you know, I was working on a screw cheap before. Didn't care for it. Took it out of the box. It was twisted. It was just mangled. Nasty. I almost just throw it in a pile of for parts. But then I was sitting here thinking, well, you know, I got this Jay's mini scale garage. I need a parts runner. I need a junkyard parts runner. So, well, here I'll just show you. Without further ado, here it is. My version. I like the old junkers in the junkyards. Parts cars. Come on, focus. As you can tell. Sorry, guys, about this. Go just try to pause. I'm trying stuff out here. And so I got it. The old pull bar, push bars off the old 18 van. The hood scoops, I believe it was the El Camino SS. And if you notice, they got one license plate out, one headlight out, one good one. I also got a license plate that says J's 1972. Well, the Blazers is 72. <laughs> Just so happens. The year I was born. Uh, like I said before, it was going to be a parts car until I came up with this idea. Focus, sorry guys. Got some old wire around the headlight bars, like you know, back in the day. Got the quarters cut out on it. Emblems are broke, rims are chipped, rusted up. It's got hard hats in it, it's got a custom road bar in it. Uh, got the head tail lights just hanging out of it. Let me uh, take this off so you can see what. There we go. It's got motors, rusted gas tank. Two boxes, it's got a V8. I mean, I'm kind of, well, it's got a little book on the magazine, a chilling book on the uh, seats. If you look, it's got kind of like the aftermarket gauges. They're done in silver. There, let's see what you see. Silver and transparent red. Radio's done. You got the wiring coming out of the fog lights. The Camaro's out, or the steering wheel's out of a Camaro Z28. Like I said, it's got, it's got all kinds of little goodies. The more you look at it, the more you find. Rear ends, transmissions, I got the batteries mounted. It's kind of hard to see. But it's mounted behind the seat. You got the wires and cables running through the floors. He even got the old rag hanging out of the gas cap. And his quarters all rusted up. Let me see if I can't get this light a little bit better on these guys. Oh yeah, there we go. Now you can really see you got the holes cut everywhere, the rags. Kinda have fun doing it. Hard had seats that are leathered out, weathered. I actually took, when I cut the doors out, I did like the old Baja doors. I cut them right below, right above that trim, my black, flat back to trim. Filled all this in with styrene. Put some spots here to make it look like it was welded in. Um, as you know, you got the little rag hanging out of the gas cap. Then, oh, I cut all the wing windows out of it. 
here's the bottom fillers. All weathered out, dirty. Um, one part I had with this was the springs was just it was just craziness. You need a light there, but see if you can see it. Oh, there you can. Well, the springs are so bad that I had to take all this right here and I beat them in, heated them up, and beat them in. Just like you know, the OK Five Blazers would, which I know mine did. I, I beat it to hell on back. Uh, you got the custom headers that come down around the back of the motor of the transmission into the little uh, aluminum packs. You got the kick out turn downs, got all the shocks done silver with the clear red above them to give them kind of off road look. Everything's weathered, rusted. Um, I don't know, man, it's pretty short. Something different. You know, it's, they always say it's easy to make a pretty car. But it's hard to make a junker sometimes. <laughs> I agree with that. I have fun with this one now. For the good thing. Let me see here. The truck came with a 350. Uh, a lot of many of you guys know me. I can't put small blocks in cars. Let me see if I can't get the hood open here. It's kind of... There we go. Just up on the tripod a little bit. Alright. Try to get the best view, guys. Just bear with me. This light ain't too good. I'll just leave it right there like that. Okay. What we got here is a weathered 454 Mildon valve covers. That's got an intake off a of NASCAR. A four barrel off a of NASCAR. I built a thing inside of the breather to raise it up off the carbs a little bit. I got the carbs all detailed. And then um, I've actually got. Right here, this is from uh, Outlaw Speed Shop. Outlaw Speed Shop. I got all the electric boxes from him. I got the dual oil filter feeds from him. Uh, this car did not come with a radiator. Uh, I guess you'd call this here a radiator. It's just kind of molded into the front cowl. So I drilled some holes in there and put some wire and tubing to make my own radiator hoses, top and bottom. Cut the wheel wells out. Um, yeah, it was a chore to get that bad boy in there. To mount up right. It's three, it's actually four different motors to make that one. Here we go. A little, little more right there. There we go. Light kind of sucks, guys. Sorry. You see, I got everything distressed. It's got the fuel filters on it. Everything. Um, yeah, let's see if it helps out. Now, it's all wired up. If you see the headers, I got them going up. Sorry, fellas. Let me see if I can get some light on there. I got the headers going up around through the frame. There we go. And down behind the uh, frame itself, so everything's tucked and heated. Oh no, know, pretty fun little bill. Enjoyed doing it. I said something different. Hey, I have my little junkyard, so I needed me a little parts hauler. So from where I grew up, we always had one in the junkyard. Uh, other than that, that one's just been, been kind of busy. Uh, we got some old uh, chassis work done. Scratch built some interior. Get the front end to tilt. Still got to do a little adjusting on it, but it tilts pretty good. 
and it stays up by itself, which <laughs> amazes me. And I got my old 62 over here getting ready for a show. I had to put a couple of things on it, touch up. About got this one here. About got it ready for the paint. That's going to be a curbside one. Because in the movie they had two different ones, a red one, and then when they stole it, they turned it gold and customized it. So that would be my gold one. And then, I told you guys I've been kind of busy. I got, let me see if I can't get it here. Got some more work done on the SS. A little molding, a little trim. The Gothic House of Customs. Is making me some custom decals for my doors. Um, it's got it's going to have twin turbos. I went through and come in now, and I don't know if I showed you before. I took a pro street and cut it down the wheel wells to make these wheel wells. I got my fuel cell in it. Get a little detail, not a big deal. Um, Got that one then. My daughter has started her new one. This is a snap type Chevelle. She wanted it pink. Was we well, used Tammy a pink and I have never seen a can of paint. You spray so much junk. So we're going to wet sand that. Uh, and then she'll reshoot that color again. I got some. He's Gothic House of Customs is making me some custom one off pink stripes for this car for her that she does not know about. It'll be one of a kind custom just for her. Um, that's what we got going on there, and then, sorry, Nellis, and then my daughter. And got me these two kits for Father's Day. I think I'll start on the wagon. Um, we'll probably do a box stock. Oh, sorry, you know me, not a box stock. Uh, I will probably take that and put a big block in it. I'm going to open the doors on it, open the uh, the hatch on it, make it all, you know, fully functional. Huh? Oops. Other than that, that's what I've been up to, fellas. Just uh, get some bench time in and... Thought this is kind of cool little building turned out pretty nice. And as you see, I'm working on my little photo booth here. Got me some lights on it. Working on the background. Um. Yeah, that's about it for now. I thought I'd share with you. I've got a little bit of stuff going on around here. Um. I got the new Suburban, which is, um, where do you go, where do you go, where do you go, there we go, sorry guys, I got this one right here, today. which I have entered in an online build off, I don't know how I want to do it, 
don't know which way I want to go with it. I got all kinds of speakers, amps. Um, I'm not for sure if I want to go low rider, four wheel drive. It will have a custom candy paint on it. Um, yeah, so uh, I think that's probably about it for now. So, uh -huh. about to go ahead and hit this paint booth again and get some more stuff done. I had to fix the hood on my old 65 Chevy. Which kind of made me mad because uh, I ended up having some stuff in the paint. I had to paint it all beautiful metallic red. I had some stuff right back in here. I ended up taking it down. Well, I had to go down to the to, back to the plastic. Well, I shot off the coat of red. I'll be darned if I didn't touch it right there. Bumped it like a goofy. Then I turned around, let that dry, sanded it, primed it. You know that uh, metallic like transparent in the first couple coats. Put a line right through here. Bumped it again. So I was like, oh man. So I gotta get back to the boots on that and get some more stuff painted and some parts. Oh yeah, you can tell old Fred. Old Fred, look what I got here, buddy. I got old Scully's cousin. Yeah, he been, he been hitting that bottle a little bit today. Um, let me find, he's been building him a little model car. Uh, where'd my thing go? Let me find it, fellas. Let me find it. I got a little cat full of parts. I don't know if you remember them. There's the little trophy cars. They came with, um, some kind of diorama set. Here it is. I'm going to actually take this little car here. I'm going to paint it. Uh, he's just a little fella here. And I'm going to flip his hands where he's holding it. Something different, you know. So old Fred, you can tell us, Kelly, that we got his cousin over here and uh, I'm putting him to work. He ain't just sitting around here not doing nothing. He's drinking all the beer and everything else. <laughs> You know I don't drink all the time. He's drinking root beer. But he's eating me out of house and home. So alrighty, fellas. Oh, yeah, one more goodie. Got this in the mail the other day. From a buddy of mine that sells parts on eBay. I don't know which way I want to go with it. But here in a minute, I'll show you. And you know exactly what I'm talking about. Get this bag cut up here. All right, here we go. Move this out of the way. I bought little bag on boys. Got a huge little bag here. We got everything taped down. Big block Chevrolet out of Cheville. And I got the whole chassis from the Chevelle. Rear end, everything I need. I don't know what I'm going to put that under yet. I'm not sure. I got a couple ideas out there. My wife and I bought me a Convertible Camaro, uh, Riley Sport or SS, I can't remember. I might just have to end up cutting this tub off right here and uh, using it for the back of that Camaro. Not for sure yet. Then I got me a big block here that I will be putting me some meltdown valve covers on it from Outlaw Speed Shops. Uh, I don't know what it is, man. I like them big valve covers. Um, I got some uh, big block 604 coming from VGC Resins. I got a bunch of batteries. I got a bunch of parts I ordered. 
um, that will be going on the next build. So, okay, well, it's been about 20 minutes here, fellas. I'm going to cut this short. i got to get back to the booth. i got both these beds going. i got a couple cars. I'm getting ready to put in cases for the shows coming up. And, uh, I'm going to say is, uh, you guys, uh, take care and have some good modeling. And this is Jay from Jay's Mini Skills. And I'm out.